Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to leverage ChatGPT to write you JSON code, which is going to be able to format your SharePoint list and library columns. The example that I'm going to try and look at today, but of course it is a live example, so bear with me if things don't go quite so to plan, is I'm going to look at a document library and I've got a priority column there and I'm going to look at how I can create some custom code to style this up in a couple of different ways and just see how far we can get with it. Um, obviously you can do some out of the box conditional formatting and things like that um, using the, the drop down arrows here clicking on um, column settings format this column. You have got some out of the box things right so you've got some background colors choice conditional formatting, things like that, which has got some logic to built into it in a bit, a bit of a kind of form wizard way of, of editing it. But I want to show you how you can go completely rogue, off piste, um, using ChatGPT to write you custom JSON. And if um, you're, you're not a, a real techie tech person who can write code in their sleep, uh, if you've never heard of JSON before, um, then this is the video for you to show you exactly how to achieve this. Now, if you've not heard of ChatGPT, then what rock have you been living under? Um, to quickly summarize it though, I mean, you'll find loads of videos online about ChatGPT, what it is and what it can do, but essentially it's um, like a chat bot that you can ask it questions and it will return you things in the form of text. But not that many people necessarily know that it will also write you code in almost any language you can think of. Now, it will write JSON for you, and in the world of SharePoint, um, you can use JSON for formatting SharePoint lists and libraries, create conditional formatting, change colors of things, do all that great stuff. So why not use ChatGPT to take the legwork out of whatever the styling and formatting is that you're looking to do? So in this case, I'm trying to style up my column, my priority column, and I want to change maybe the, the layout, the look and feel um, uh, to see what it looks like. I'm going to show you real basic examples, and then we'll just see if we can kind of ask it to do some other bits and bobs and just see what else we can kind of do with it. So um, the first kind of question I'm going to ask it is I'm just going to say, can you write some JSON for a choice column? Uh, that is called priority. Oh, let me just change that. Um, and what do we want to do? So, so for this, um, and let's say, and if it is set to high, then make the entire cell go red. So. Very basic, very simplistic, but you can just see from a very small command here, very, very small, it's now written me some JSON code that I can use straight away. So now all I need to do is copy this. And actually, I'm going to caveat this because I'm going to curse myself if I don't. I'm going to caveat this to say it doesn't always work first time. And any video that does show you that it works first time, um, it's either pure fluke luck um, or... Um, that they've done it a few times in the background to work out what works and what doesn't. Um, so let's try this. If it doesn't work, what you can do is you can go back and you click on this regenerate response button and that will then rewrite it for you. Uh, but because this is so simplistic, I, I'm hoping it will just work first time. Now to apply this customized JSON to my priority column, all I need to do is click on this drop down here click on column settings and then format this column. Now, the, as I say, there are some out of the box options you can choose for changing background colors and things like that. But if you click on advanced mode, you can see the actual code that's under the hub that's actually doing this. So now all I need to do is actually remove all of that and I'm gonna paste in um, the code that ChatGPT has generated for me. Click on preview and there we go. Look, it's not actually worked. Um, it, it's, uh, it, it's not worked at all. So. This is where we now need to go back to ChatGPT and we'll ask it to regenerate the response. So it's obviously not worked. It will realize that it won't have worked. Sometimes it even apologizes because it knows it hasn't worked um, and it will regenerate it for you um, to find out. To, to basically, hopefully the code will then work. Um, it's taking its time having a good think about it. I mean, 
Christmas is the curse of the live demonstration, guys. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, oh, there we go. I was threatening to refresh it, and it then suddenly kicked into play. Um, I think that uses the change of appearance of a cell. So, actually, from based on this, I may have jumped the gun a little bit, and it may, be, it may not even realize that this is in the context of SharePoint. So, I'm going to rephrase my question to make sure that it realizes that I'm talking about SharePoint. Can you write some JSON for a choice column in my SharePoint online document library that is called Priority... Uh, the name of my choice column is called priority and if it's and if any value is set to high then make the entire cell go red right i'm hoping now based on this last message that actually it's going to understand a little bit better it sounds perky sounds like it's off to a good start so this looks a lot more promising. So let's copy the code and jump into SharePoint. Go back into area here. Just going to remove out everything that we find in here, paste it in, and then click on preview. Okay. Okay, we've got some values back now, but it's actually stripped out everything. And it's not actually applied any color just yet. Um, so let's go back into ChatGPT and we'll say um, this did not work. Any the values marked as high did not turn red. So let's see if it will have another crack. doesn't sound too good um, so let's just try rephrasing the question one more time um, so I'm gonna say can you write some JSON for a choice column for a SharePoint choice column let's go priority It's getting confused by the term cell, I think. Um, can I have some JSON columns that's called priority and set to high for me? The entire make the, the say text go red. Okay, so this is a good example of actually how it can trip itself over based on the terminology that you're using. So although it's making it easier for me to actually get the code, um, you do have to kind of make sure you're understanding what ChatGPT is talking about and the issue that it's finding. Again, back in here, let's paste in preview. Still not working. Right, let's have one last final attempt at this. So let's be crystal clear. I want you to write me JSON formatting that I will apply to a choice field in my SharePoint online document library. The choice field will have some values choice field okay let's just make this more like a condition so if the choice field is equal to high 
then change the background color to red. Okay, let's try this now. Paste this in. Click on preview. Boom. There we go. Right. Finally got there in the end. Now, this just goes to show it's not as easy as it kind of looks. Um, you do have to build up a bit of a rapport to a certain extent with ChatGPT to get um, that code to eventually kind of be generated. Um, what I would suggest is actually that you um, keep the same kind of conversation flowing inside of ChatGPT um, when you are trying to get something like this, like a calculation um, to, to write code for you to come out. Um, so actually it learns what you're trying to do over a period of time and it will kind of be wrong a number of times and then when it's right, it will kind of learn from this. But technically you could go a lot further with this. Obviously I've just done some hideous red background, but uh, once it's then locked on to something like this, you could then try and take it further. Um, I've already gone over the time that I wanted to spend on this um, already. Um, I was hoping it would get it right sooner, but you could maybe go and ask it to change the font color, um, maybe ask it to um, change um, the, the, the where the text sits. Um, you could potentially ask it to add in icons, for example. And a quick test of that, just to show you, um, so I don't want to waste your time in case it didn't work first time, but um, I've just gone in and asked a question. And I said, please update the JSON below to add in a warning icon if the value is equal to high. Um, so I've just pasted in the code that I know that works. So this is another top tip. If you find the code that works, just keep giving that back to ChatGPT and asking for alterations. So I've now said, please add in the icon. So I'm now going to copy that code. Go back into here, remove everything, paste in, and then click on preview. And there you go. You can now see I've now got the warning icon, which is appearing next to high. But again, you can then start playing with it further and saying, oh, can actually you put it on the left-hand side of the text rather than um, on the, the right-hand side or change the color of it or something like that. You could try all these different things to format it to get it to, to appear exactly how you want it to appear. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like the video, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've got any questions at all, um, or actually if you've used this and you've found some great ways that, that you've used ChatGPT to enhance the development of a SharePoint site, let me know. I'll be really interested to know because um, I, I am sort of playing around with this actively and just trying to find new cool tips and tricks um, and speed lining or well, streamlining the development of SharePoint sites using ChatGPT. Um, so let me know what you're using it for in the comments feed below. Um, if you've got any questions, I do try to respond to everybody. And as I say, please do subscribe to the channel um, to help out growth um, and look out for future videos uh, with top tips for SharePoint.